Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Angel. I'm sorry I haven't been around for a while. I've been like crazy live streaming on Periscope on Twitch, uh, everywhere where there's a camera and there's people, I'm pretty much there. Um, so I've been live streaming for four years, playing the piano for more than 20. Uh, you know, I started this YouTube channel back in 2015. Um, I changed a lot over... <laughs> <laughs> I changed a lot over the last couple of years. Now I've noticed that um, most of you guys want to see their covers or tutorials or reviews of gear. So that's what I'm going to try to do in the next couple of um, videos here on YouTube. Um, if you're watching this for the first time, remember to, you know, uh, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff, click on the bell so you get notified. And if you want to see me live here on YouTube, let me know and I'll start doing live streams on YouTube. Um, so today what I thought of doing is to show you how to make a cover your own. Most of us are trapped at home, right? And we're getting back and playing the piano, which piano do you want to, you know, buy? And then once you have your piano, uh, you know, you want to start playing covers because, you know, before you start composing, you need to play, right? Um, if, if you need um, ideas on what kind of piano to buy or suggestions about that, I'm going to link below one of my videos that will help you decide on which piano to get and also in the description I'm going to tag a couple of pianos that you you could look into that I really like. I pretty much like Yamaha so I'm going to be linking a couple of those. So for today the how to make a cover your own. The app that I'm always using is Open a Guitar Tab. I'm going to show you first wh what I can do in case this is the first time you see me, right? So in this example, we're using the song Still Got the Blues by Gary Moore. You can look it up on Spotify or YouTube Music. You're going to be able to hear it's an electric guitar song, super passionate, romantic and all of that. And instead of, uh, of replicating exactly what he's doing, you have to, you know, the, the piano is a different instrument, obviously, and the piano is going to express in, in the language that the piano can speak right? The guitar is going to sustain a note and then add a little bit of all of that effect. That's something that you cannot do on the piano like that, but you can do it in a different way. And also you can also make it all that hot and heavy and sexy and, and passionate, but with your playing and with your expression. So um, what I'm using is Ultimate Guitar Tab. I look at the chords there. Um, yes, I'm subscribed to that service. I really like it. I really enjoy it. And even though, you know, sometimes the chords are not perfect, but they really take you there, right? So this one is a D minor 7, D minor 7 over G, C major 7, F major 7. You can look it up, you know, I don't need to write all. Guys, if I need to add all the details here on the screen, I'm not going to have enough time to do all these videos that you really want to see. So, for example, D minor 7 would be this, right? C major 7. F major 7, I don't know this one how it goes, but I know it is this, <laughs> okay, that's it, B minor 7, flat 5, E major, and A minor, okay, so what I do is you open up the chords, and then you're going to be able to open up the chords, play the melody at the same time, and add a little bit of pizzazz in the middle of all of that, so you need to play the melody. Just by looking at the chords, I can play the melody because I developed the ear for that. But I hope that by practice, you're going to get there too. Everybody can develop their ear just like anybody can sing or anybody can pose. Yes, that's a, that's a gift that everybody has, believe me. Okay, so we, we want to sing the melody, right? It goes like... Ba -da -ba -ba, ba -da -ba -ba. Hold on. Ba -da -da -la. <laughs> it's, it's so late. Okay. Okay, left hand, I'm just gonna play the tonic or whatever the bass is, right? If, if the chord is D, you're gonna play that, you're gonna play D. If the chord is D over G, you're gonna play G. If the chord is F, you're gonna play F, right? So on the left hand, I'm gonna support with that. 
So I open it up by doing ba 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 chord, melody, chord, chord, chord. So see how I'm I'm alternating between playing the chord and the melody in the right hand, and then on the left one, you're adding the support of the of the bass notes. Um, the other layer that you can add to make it your own is change the rhythm a little bit, right? So once you know the chords and uh, once you know how it's supposed to sound, I'm not going to teach you that here today. This is not how to play I Still Got the Blues. This is how to make a cover your own, right? So once you have the chords, whatever song it may be, let it be, whatever, I don't care, you have to change it a little bit. You have to you have to make it match your skill to the maximum. So if someone else is playing something that's awesome, but you don't have that skill or that level yet, take it to the maximum of your own skill level so that you can shine. And that's my best tip, really. That's what I do. I'm not the best piano, piano player. I'm really good at expression. Why? Because I listen. It's like I make my soul breathe between each phrase and I and I have an intention with everything I play. I'm not, I never play mechanically. Well, perhaps like a small percentage of time if I'm looking at a comment and answer, but you know, I, you really have to put an intention and, and this is not like uh, yoga meditation, even though I do that and I love it, but you need to put an intention in what you're playing. You know, you really need to mean something, right? So the, the lyrics of the song said, it used to be so easy to give my heart away, but I found out the hard way there is a price you have to pay. So it's definitely a very sad song about love, about not being able to give your heart away because you're always hurt and all of that, right? So we need to express that with the piano. And here I'm gonna change instead of this, I'm gonna change it. Again, I changed it. I changed that, I went for the seventh. You know, you add a couple of arpeggios here and there. Pay attention to the seventh of the chord, add it here and there, keep it in your pinky finger, you know? Here, instead of playing F in the right hand, I just kept it all like an A minor over F. That didn't sound good because it was too strong. That sounds better. So back from that F, F major 7th. The idea is that you have to play chords that are gonna resolve in another chord, right? So for example, do like a, like a D minor over E and then you move to the E. So the tips I pretty much gave you were change the rhythm a little bit, make it your own, put an intention into what you're playing, phrase it differently, add additional notes, pull back on the chords and then let them build up to resolve. Those are a couple of the little things I do when I, when I play this. So in, in other YouTube videos by other pianists, you're going to hear versions that, um, and they're good, they're nice, they're pretty, but they're different, right? They're more like st stick to the original, right? So it's going to be something like this. First problem with this, you know, the, the, the even rhythm, that's a turn off for me. 
you don't need to be even in your rhythm because you're not recording this with a click track. No one else is playing with you. It's just a piano solo. So the piano can dance, you know, you can sway right and left and take it to wherever you want. So even if you decided to go for that version, you can change it a little bit. Something else I also do is if you need to resolve in the C, I take it to a D and then, um, for example, here. That was the obvious resolution, but I took it to a D instead of a C. So you create a little bit more suspense. Guys, I think I gave you more than enough details on how I'm doing my covers. If you want to hear more about this, please, by all means, join me Monday through Friday at 10 p.m. on Twitter or Periscope and Tuesdays and Thursdays. So far, this is my schedule, but check Twitter for the better schedule. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7, 7.30 p.m. on Twitch. Um, I take requests. We can chat about piano, about music, about anything you want. Um, relatively anything you want pretty much um, and look if you're a musician absolutely drop me a comment let me know if you're beginning to do live streams let me know I can I can help you I don't know guide you to the right direction right thank you so much for watching um, remember to follow if you're new to click on the button and to leave me a comment if you like this see you soon guys